2018 is set to be the year the world fully embraces the electric car. We'll see a global tipping point for drivers as electric models start competing with petrol and diesel cars head to head. In 2018, for the first time, we're going to see that it's cheaper to buy an electric car than a petrol or a diesel car. And by cheaper, we mean the total cost of ownership. We're going to see acceleration of the whole idea of cars powered by electricity. But we'll also be confronted with the uncomfortable truth about the impact of going electric. They've long been vaunted as the vehicle of the future. Hardly an electric car, more like an electric bath chair. For a long time, electric cars had a reputation for being like milk floats. But from laughing stock in the mid-1980s to rising stock today, electric cars have come of age. New technology means the range is much better and some of these cars can outperform the fastest supercars when it comes to acceleration. Batteries are much cheaper and better than they used to be. A better battery has been the holy grail of the electric car makers for some time. Prices of batteries have more or less halved since about 2012. In 2013, a Nissan Leaf could travel about 120 kilometres. Now, cars are travelling 500 kilometres on a single charge. 2018 will be a tipping point for the adoption of electric cars because the more people who do it, the more other people will want to do it. There will be demand to build charging points and other infrastructure for them, and that will make other people more likely to buy electric cars. So you get this snowball effect. Companies are clambering to take the lead with billions in investment and promises to make the switch. It's very clear to us that uh, an electrified car is what consumers want. From 2020, all of our new vehicles will be electrified. Why are we making electric cars? To accelerate the transition to sustainable transport. But it's pressure from governments that's driving this push from the industry. We've seen Britain and France saying you're not going to be able to buy a purely fossil fuel car by 2040. We're seeing cities like Paris, Mexico City, Athens, Madrid saying they're not even going to allow diesel cars into the city after 2025. We can expect to see more of these sorts of tightening of the regulation around fossil fuel cars coming in 2018. And it's an unlikely country that's leading the pack. All the action on electric vehicles is happening in China. It wants to become a leader in the production of electric vehicles, just as it is not a leader in the production of the internal combustion engine. In 2016, China bought more than 40% of the world's electric cars. China is very well aware that um, pollution is a hot-button issue, politically, socially, culturally. And so if they can get more electric vehicles onto the streets, it does look as though they're doing something to tackle that. These fume-free cars will make our cities cleaner. The electric vehicle industry sells itself to consumers as this futuristic, environmentally friendly means of transport. But uncomfortable truths lurk behind the electric car revolution. The dirty secret of electric vehicles is that often they're powered by electricity that itself is produced by dirty fuels such as coal. In order to be fully clean, they need a clean grid, and that can cost trillions of dollars. The rise of electric cars will challenge the world's thirst for oil. It could spark a global shift of power from countries that have enjoyed the influence that oil has brought. The control of oil has been terrifically important during the 20th century. Oil's going to become much less important. If you take the Middle East, conflict tends to increase when oil prices are low. The more we use electric vehicles, the more risk there is that instability across oil producing nations is going to increase. Beyond oil, attention will turn to lithium electric car batteries, which rely on the mineral cobalt. Two thirds of the world's cobalt comes from one country, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Congo is 
not only one of the world's poorest countries, but it is also a country um, which is renowned for violence, um, for, for corruption, for the use of, of child labour and for environmental degradation. Demand for cobalt has doubled over the past five years and is set to triple by 2020. There's not nearly as much attention on dirty cobalt as there is on dirty oil or blood oil or blood diamonds, but this could really besmirch the industry's reputation almost before it gets going. But the electric car revolution is coming. After 2018, there will be no turning back. The combustion engine as we know it was invented in the 1880s and it's had a pretty good run. There is almost unstoppable momentum behind the electric vehicle, so eventually the internal combustion engine will go. When it comes to the cars that most people drive, electric cars really are the future.